Hello, we're Team 15. We're going to talk about two projects. Our team members are um, Miguel Verdilla, Alex Rosales, and Domingo Malave. Our first project is related to a four bar mechanism. We have two tables in which uh, we have the same uh, input, that with the same data. The only difference between them is that in the first scenario, we're using uh, Theta 4 as an input. And then in the second table, we're using Theta 2 as an input. As you can see in the graph, I mean, we have all the, uh, all the, all the lanes and all the angles. OK, this graph explains that, that we can use both of them, I mean, uh, Theta 4 and Theta 2. But by using Theta 4 as an input, we're going to have real numbers, and we're going to have imaginary numbers. In order to fix that, we need to change from, from Theta 4 to Theta 2, which it would allow link number four only to work in the green area. So as you can see, the bottom part of the graph is one scenario, and the top part of the graph is a, is a second scenario. OK. Uh, using Theta 2 as our input to, in order to have all the real numbers in our calculations, those are the, the representation of, uh, of the formula that we use. Basically, we calculate all the angles. We calculate the values of A, B, C, and we use this formula to calculate the roots, the, the, the two possible enclosures. Uh, we calculate then um, the, the theta 4, theta 3, and we use the positive root in order to calculate the velocities and the accelerations. And then we calculate the positions of the link 3 with the point Q. Uh, those graphs as they are the graphically representation of our velocities and accelerations. As you can see here, they're pretty similar. Uh, uh, the uh, velocity of the link 3 and the velocity of the link 4 respect to the our input that is theta 2. Here are the both accelerations, the alpha 3 and alpha 4 versions, omega 2 as our input. And this is the path that we got from uh, the point in the link 3 using a beta of 0. This is basically the path that we're going to uh, have uh, moving our mechanism. Hi. Uh, this is a, a graphical representation using SolarWorks of what a machine or mechanism will look like using the same parameters and the same uh, arm length. Uh, this could be either a machine that will stamp, or it could be also a pedal. In order to be a pedal, the center of what would be R4 is attached to something that would try to keep the angular momentum of the mechanism going. Because as Domingo explained, using the R4, we will go to a position in which the mechanism would not want to keep rotating unless we use the R2. Here we have basically our given points that are not exactly the same as the initial given points that were given to us that we had to make a couple changes because the initial given points were not able to be reached uh, possibly by the machine. Uh, we had to move uh, one of the points in order to actually create an enclosure of the A's so they could close and the B's so they could realistically be followed by, by a mechanism. Okay, uh, this is uh, basically what we did in Excel. Uh, those are the calculations of the or poles or distance between the points, and all the calculations in order to calculate the linear between C1 and C3. It's uh, basically in a matrix form. As you can see here, this is matrix A, and this is matrix X. This is the inverse of A, and this is the multiplication between them. And this is basically the process that we, we did all over the uh, calculations. Uh, well, this is the graphically the representation of or C values, uh, we, as you can see here, we got a, a perfect line between C1 and C3, and this is basically how the link 3 uh, with all the points will move around our slider crank mechanism. Okay, again, this is also a graphical representation of our second project, which is the slider crank. Uh, I would like to point out that the, the, the mechanism that we created is able to reach the points that we were given. So basically, we were able to comply with the, with the project. But this uh, machine is not going to be able to have a rotary motor at this point because the link arm, at one point, it will disengage. 
So we only left it in the points uh, or during the slider position where it would actually reach uh, our three positions required by the, by the project. Uh, it is important to, to point out that using the project one or project two, uh, we are able to reach possible machines. Doesn't mean that those machines are going to be uh, ideal. And we've got a, a great appreciation by, by doing these projects that it's, completely different. it's a completely different thing to go uh, forward on a project, which is what we did in Fort Barrett Mechanism. We were able to get givens and we reach a goal which was going to be there regardless of whether we wanted it or not. Or in project two, which we're actually we're given basically a set of ends and we had to work backwards in order to reach a mechanism that would actually achieve those ends. So it's two, 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 uh, two totally different things. And for example, in this project, uh, if this was actually something that we needed to do for a company or for, or for anybody that requested this, we would have to explain uh, what it would do and what are the limitations of, of, of a machine like this. So basically, this is our, our two projects. Thank uh, you so much. I hope you enjoyed it.